sequences of measles have increased 100-fold. The WHO acknowledges Ukraine as having a high probability of a polio outbreak. If anybody's wondering why Russia invaded Ukraine, contagion was overseen by the Pentagon. It caused significant economic harm to a number of states, including Poland and Ukraine, excluding them from exporting pork. Ukraine minimizes the impact of these labs on its territory. Our data shows that these programs are being urgently rolled back. Having analyzed these documents, we see that the Ministry of Health of Ukraine ordered to destroy the pathogens in these labs on the 24th of February of this year. At that, the instructions given suggest this destruction of pathogens is irrecoverable. It looks like everything that is necessary to continue these programs has already been taken out of the territory of Ukraine. Among the destroyed were the plague, anthrax, brucellosis in Lvov's laboratory, pathogens of diphtheria, salmonella, dis, uh, dysentery in Kharkov, and Poltava labs. In Lvov alone, 232 volumes of pathogens of leptopariasis, 30 with tololemia, all up to 320, the nomenclature and excessive amounts of biopathogens confirm the existence of military biological programs. The curators in the Pentagon understand that if this collection was to find their way into the hands of experts of the Russian Federation, then it would be determined that the U.S. and Ukraine b broke the Convention on the Prohibition of Biological and Tox Toxic Weapons, particularly the ban of enhancement of pathogens of microorganisms via synthetic biology, in other words, gain-of-function research. Only this can explain the speed with which the destruction of materials took place. This is just a small selection of documents. We are continuing our work and will continue to inform you. The Ministry of Defense of the Russian Federation has often turned its attention to the military biological program rolled out on post-Soviet space by the Pentagon, including on the territory of Ukraine, which housed 30 bio labs that could be divided into scientific research and sanitary biological research. The funding agency of this work is the Ministry of Defense of the U.S. DTRA, Defense Threat Reduction Agency. The work is carried out by a military department of Black and Beach. Their work is tasked across three directives. One, the monitoring of biological environment around military locations of NATO. Two, repatriation of different strains of dangerous pathogens to the U.S. And three, research on potential agents of biological weaponry. Specifics to this region and that have natural foci can be passed on to people. For example, since 2021, the Pentagon has been monitoring, diagnosing with a view to prevent zoonotic diseases along the, among the armed forces of Ukraine with a funding of $1.8 million. In 2020 to 21 years, on the territory of Ukraine, the Ministry of Defense of Germany studied the pathogens of the Crimean Congo hemorrhagic fever, leptiasis, meningitis, uh, hantavirus, as part of an agreement between the two states to guarantee biological safety to the outer borders of the EU. Under the pretext of studying the prophylactics for the coronavirus infections, thousands of samples have been d of DNA have been sent to Ukraine, along with the U.S. Walter Reed National uh, Medical Center, importantly belonging to the Savic Ethnos, military, biological, ethnic weapons, folks.